up here in the braes again at uh, the inimitable Contemplation Rock one of the first perches I ever named and man <laughs> what have you, mid-October? and it's absolutely still with a slight veil hanging across the city but this is why you come into the hills is, is to get above the veil to unveil and reveal indeed I was thinking about the word inoculation the other day and to inoculate is to put an eye into and this is exactly what sitting up here gazing across the valley does to you it reinserts the third eye that you've forgotten all about and it lets you see widely and wisely across the land and it lets you hear this eye is an ear as well and so these hillside inoculations are absolutely essential in order to gain that sense of vision and insight it's not just seeing it's as the word inoculate suggests it's a form of insight and up here I mean look at it look at that and there's not a soul not a soul up here most of them go up the other path the sort of paved path the Loch Humphrey path and so no one comes up this way because it's it's not as defined it's it's certainly a trail of sorts but certainly on a Monday morning you I mean you might as well strip off naked and do a little dance no one apart from the stone chats and the skylarks <laughs> and they don't really care for naked dancers since they are the naked dancers themselves but yes absolutely wonderful wonderful in the sense of dare to be one dare to be full of oneness absolutely so here's to the contemplation rocks and perches all around the strath that can enable that third eye to open up